Hello everyone, in this video we are going to make two custom circular buttons to go to previous code and uh, to next code. You may think now why on earth add two buttons to go to previous and next pages instead of using swipe gesture. That because I just need to show you how to create custom buttons and how we can position them and how to add using interaction like tap, double tap and long press. In a future video I'll show you how we can add swipe gesture to achieve this. So let's go to the home page dot dot. We can add circular buttons using floating action button, but we can create a custom button. There are multiple ways to do that. I'm gonna show you two ways. So as the third child of our stack widget, I'm gonna use a container widget with a decoration. Value is box decoration. And we are gonna use two properties of this widget. Those are shape, value is box shape dot circle. And the second one is color. I want black to 26 color this will give us circular shape container with a black color and with some opacity if I press hot reload you can see a circle that is covered the screen with to get our desired size we can use width and height properties of container I'm gonna use 60.0 as value to add left arrow to this circle, we can add child property of container. We want an icon, so icon arrow underscore left. Icon color is black 54 and icon size is 40.0. Hope reload looks good. I'll show you how to align this button as the final step. Okay now if i press on the circle nothing will happen because this is still not a button to make this a button we have to wrap this container using a widget called inkpill you can add parent widget from clicking on this light bulb because i should place on the widget that you want to wrap in this case container this inkpill widget allow us to make awesome buttons let's add on tap property value must be a type of gesture type callback i'm going to create a simple function that prints hello to the console when tap on this button now we can call this method in on tap property hot reload if i tap on this button hello will print in the console we can also do like this without the function name now this is an anonymous function because we don't have our function name. We can also add on double tap, on long press. Now let me show you one problem that we have with this button. In Inkwell widget we have a splash color property and highlight color property. So I'm gonna add yellow for splash color and a red for highlight color. Hot reload. Now if I press on this button you cannot see anything. That because we cannot get the benefit of Inkwell widget with a decorated container. So as a solution without this decoration property, we can wrap our inkwell with the material widget. And we can specify the material type using type property. We want material type to be circle and we can add material color using color property. I want black 26. Now as the child of this material widget, we can add inkwell widget. So I'm going to add child property for our inkwell widget. Press hot reload. Now if I tap on this button, you can see splash color and also highlight color red. So you can play with other properties in material and in fill widget. For our motivational core tap, we don't need this and double tap, long press and highlight color also. And for the splash color, I want black 45 color. So this is the code for our custom button. Now we need this button for right side. 
you know we only have to change two places so we can easily duplicate this code and change the icon and on tap but in a previous video i told you that duplicating code will not make you a better at programming so you can create a function and pass icon and a function for on tap property but i have created a file called component dot dot in two videos before this one so i'm gonna cut this button code and in the component dot dot file create a stateless widget called custom button and i'm gonna paste our button code into the return statement of build method now we can create object of custom button inside the stack widget one before the rectangle and another one after the rectangle okay this is the time we are going to align our buttons i want this button in center left and the other one in the next to this rectangle that means we want to align these three widgets horizontally so we can easily wrap these three objects by row widget press hot reload we have few things to do first let's change a right button arrow custom button is a class so we can do that by constructor so let's add a variable for icon data type is icon data now we can get value through constructor let's replace icons dot left with icon variable in home page dot dot uh, we have to pass icon data first one is icons dot arrow left and the other one is arrow right okay now to add the space between rectangle and buttons we can use margin for button or for a rectangle because we have used row widget we can add space by main axis alignment property in row widget and value is main axis alignment in capital dot space between this will give us equal space between all children in of row widget all right we can also add some space to edge of the screen by adding two empty size box before and after custom button object. You can add width property to get values as you want. Also, you can use container widget here. Here, I'm not going to add width because space between gives me some space between this widget. Press hot reload. Let's rotate the screen. Cool. Now, let me show you one drawback of this code. Here you can see we have to add arrow left and arrow right. If we have some other pages, we have to do the same thing. That's not sound good because these two buttons are not going to change anywhere in this app. So we can do better than this. And we can also add this row to the component page. So as the last step, let me show you how to do that. Let's go to the component dot dot and we can change class name custom button to component row. Now we don't need this variable and constructor. Now inside this class, before the build method, create a method called custom button. Return type is widget. Let's cut this return statement of build method and paste into custom button method. Now for the build method, we can return our row widget that is in the home page dot dot file. Cut the row widget and paste into component row class build method return statement adding return statement you know that we don't have this custom button class instead we have a method for this let's call that method here now we need to say this is arrow left and this is arrow right we can do that by adding icon parameter to the custom button method so icon data parameter name is icon now you can add that parameter to the icon widget now inside the build method let's pass the arrow left icon for the first custom button method code and arrow right for the other one here we have to get values for code and person name we are going to do that by constructor so let's quickly create two variables for code and person name and let's add constructor to get values for those variables now we can add those variables for constructor args of frosted glass. Okay, uh, let's go to the home page dot dot and as the second child of stack widget, we can create an anonymous object of component row. We have to pass code and person name. We can use the same variable here. Code dot code. We can change variable name to something different. Now, what can you say about this code? Great, right? So let's press restart. 
that's all we have to do in this video please let me know about your thoughts i want to know that the way i'm explaining things are good or not that way i can be changed and if this is the good way press like button and subscribe button also and thanks for watching